Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing kind of like a chit chat getting ready with me, um, kind of first impressions on some new drugstore products. Some are drugstore products that I've tried out once or twice, but, um, you know, I just wanted to use them in tutorial in case you guys want to see what they look like and see if you want to go out and buy them. But, uh, yeah, basically, I'm snowed in today, so I figured a tutorial. Well, it's not even a tutorial. A Get Ready With Me video was, like, a good little fun thing to film today. And as you can see, well, you probably can't see, but I am rocking some sweatpants today and my Victoria's Secret top because, oh my god, like, we have, like, 20 inches of snow outside our house. And it's, like, stopped for the time being. It's like 2 o'clock right now, but it's supposed to start back up at 5. But look how much we got overnight. Like, this is crazy. Like, like I'll try to zoom. Like, can you see that? Like, look. That's all snow. That's like a foot of freaking snow. <laughs> like, it is awful. At least the roads are cleared off at the moment, and you can see, like, the sidewalks cleared off. But look at all that. I still have to go and clean out, dig out my car, I should say. Not even clear off my car. I dig my car out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, basically, I got snowed in. Couldn't go to work today. Well, work closed. So, even if I attempted, I wouldn't get out. Um, but, yeah, I thought I'd film this for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And, yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so I'm going to get started with my face. I already moisturized it and everything, and I apologize now if you hear plows or, um, I can't even think, are they called snowmobiles? I don't know. But if you hear that stuff, it's because, like, there's like 15, 20 inches of snow outside, and that's the only way people can get around, and they're plowing like crazy. So... I apologize for that in advance, but I'm going to start by priming my face, and I'm going to be using the new L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. Now, I have used this a few times already, and people have been comparing this to Benefits Professional, which, if you watch my videos, you know that's like my all-time favorite primer because I have like really big pores right here, and it really helps to fill them. And as you can see, it has like the same color and consistency as the Professional, and it is like $20 at the drugstore, and um, you get like twice as much product. And I have to say, this isn't an exact dupe, but it's a pretty good one. So if you don't want to spend the money on the Professional, I'd say that this is a really good dupe that you probably can get and try um I feel like the pore professional does have my pores just a little bit better but if I was on a budget or couldn't afford the benefit one I would definitely give this one a try because um, it's the most comparable dupe that I found so far so I really have been enjoying that next I'm going to be taking my Maybelline instant age rewind um, treatment and this one is the brightening one so it has a pink tone to it and I absolutely love this for brightening under my under eye area um, because I tend to get pretty dark under there alright next I am going to go in with foundation and today I'm going to be using the elf HD mattifying cream foundation and I'm in the color porcelain and it just looks like this. Now, I've already tried it with my Beauty Blender. This is the second time I'm going to be using it. And I'm actually going to try it with a brush. Um, just because with this type of foundation, I'm never really sure how I'm going to like to apply it. Um, the sponge was nice and gave like... A light medium coverage but I want to see if the brush will give more of a medium full coverage so I'm just going to dip my Sonia Kashuk brush in here and this is my all-time favorite foundation brush 
it just is really nice at blending and getting everything real nice. I'm not too fond of the smell it has. I can't put my finger on quite what it smells like. Reminds me of something from my childhood. Like the smell of it. But I can't. I don't think it's like Play-Doh. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> um, but uh. That's the only thing I'm not too crazy about. Is the smell of it. It's not super strong though. But when you get around your nose area. You can definitely smell it. Now this was. What? Six dollars? I think. And. It's doing the same thing it did with the sponge. It is settling into every single pore on my face. Um, if you're a person who has a lot of like baby hairs on your face, I don't think you'd like this. If you have big pores, I don't think you'd like this. Um, I mean, this is my second time trying it using a different way of applying it. And it's still doing the same exact thing it did with the Beauty Blender, so. Um, and it's giving about medium coverage with the brush. Um, but I'm the type of person where I don't want to have to sit here and really blend my makeup to get it out of my pores. Um, and I will be doing a full depth review on this and another e.l.f. foundation that I purchased, which I actually really do like, and I've been using it quite a bit lately. So that's that, and I actually have a beauty sponge here. Now this is the new Real Techniques beauty sponge, so it has the pointed end like the Beauty Blender, but it has this flat side, and it's like $5.99 at Ulta, and I purchased it because I wanted to try it because I heard it was a good dupe for the Beauty Blender, and I have to say... I will probably never purchase the Beauty Blender again because this is a really good dupe for it. Um, I mean, for a sponge, I feel like 20 bucks is like ridiculous for a sponge. Um, and the first one that I ever got actually wore out pretty quick. So I'm interested to see how this wears. I've washed it a few times and I don't don't notice like any indents or peeling or anything on it yet, and yeah, I really do like it so far. I got liked it enough where I went out and I had to return something at Ulta and I ended up getting another one, so I have like a backup. So I definitely recommend going out and trying that if you haven't already um, because I'm probably not going to purchase the Beauty Blender again because of that. So next product that I actually haven't used yet and I'm interested in trying is the Rimmel Weight Me Up Concealer, and I got mine in Very Fair Light, um, which I don't think it's the lightest shade, I think it's the second lightest shade, and I live in Pennsylvania, and I have never seen the Rimmel Weight Me Up Concealer or Foundation. Um, I know they have it over in the UK, but I've never seen it in the States, and it's something that I really want to try. So I went to Kmart the other day and I saw that they had the concealer. I didn't see the foundation, but I saw the concealer. So I was like, I need to try this. Because I know Tanya Burr is a big one to rave about the Wake Me Up products. So we'll see how this goes. I just come to the little doe foot applicator. Jeez, maybe I should have went with the lighter shade. We'll see. This looks more like my summer shade. Oh, yeah. Put it around my nose, down the center of my nose, and on my forehead. And then I'll just take my Real Technique sponge and blend it out. I'm interested to see the coverage that it gives and if it actually Make me look dewy and awake. So yeah, I think it gives like a dewy type effect to it and it blends out nicely. But for me personally, I would have to see what the lightest shade in the color range looks like. Because 
for very fair light. This was pretty dark. Um, I feel like I would need a shade or two lighter to actually give the brightening effect. And coverage wise, you can still see some of my darkness. So I think this is a concealer that like I'm glad I tried it out, but I don't think I'd repurchase it again because it's not really giving me the coverage that I prefer in a concealer. Or maybe just because I've been wearing the MAC Pro Longwear so long that nothing ever compares to it. But anyway, let's set everything. I'm going to be using my Revlon Color Stay Powder, and this one is in light. And I'm just going to use my e.l.f. powder brush, which is a brush I purchased last month, and I'm so glad I purchased it. I really like it to press the powder into my face. My Sigma brush was more fluffy, and it was more for, like, good for more, like, loose powder and, like, dusting powder on my face, but not really to press it into my skin to set stuff, so. And then to set my under eyes, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Complexion Perfection little powder, and I've really been enjoying this. This was in my products that I bought and forgot about. Now for blush, bronzer, and highlights. So a new blush came out. It's the Physicians Formula Nude Wear Blush. And I got mine in rose. So it's the pink one. I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques blush brush. Well, I don't think it's the blush brush. It's the buffing brush. But I really like it for blush. So, And this is supposed to give a healthy glow to your skin. Um... I was hoping that it'd be kind of a dupe for the One Healthy Glow Dior blush, so I didn't have to dish out like 40 or 60 bucks for it. Um, I feel like maybe the Dior one probably would have better pigmentation. I mean, this is definitely buildable, but... Sometimes I don't like to have to build up my blush this much to get my desired color. But it definitely gives a healthy glow to your cheeks. So, yeah, that's a new product that I got. And then for highlight, I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. Shimmer Palette, which is in my bought it and forgot it cosmetic bag right now and I'm just going to be using my finger and taking this champagne color right here and I'm just going to dab it on the tops of my cheeks for bronzer I'm going to be using my NYC sunny bronzer which is also in my bought it forgot it makeup case which um, I have like a New Year's resolution series that I think I'm actually going to put into a playlist since I plan on like updating you guys every month on it. Um, but yeah, if you go to my channel page, you can see my January update and like what I'm talking about with this Bought It Forgot It box um, if you haven't seen it already. That will kind of give you into a, an insight on what my New Year's resolution was and like what I'm doing. And I have to say, I'm, like, failing huge. <laughs> January was, like, an exception because it was my birthday. So I got a lot of money and gift cards. But it's February now, and I'm still not doing very good. And it's to the point where I can't go out shopping anywhere unless I have, like, someone with me. So, like, I don't buy stuff. Because there's, like, so many new products, and it's, like, killing me. Because I love trying new products. But at the same time, it's, like, I have a crap ton of products already. So I really don't need any products. And I'm really trying to save money to pay off bills and stuff. Because I still have some school loans. Um, so, yeah. And then I'm actually going to be taking this new Real Techniques brush. I don't know if it's new. But I've personally never seen it before. It is the foundation brush. So it's thin. But it's angled. 
I thought it was actually going to be more fluffier until I took it out of the package and I was like, oh. Um, but I really like it for contouring. So I haven't, I've contoured with my Hula bronzer and I like it, but I haven't contoured with this bronzer. So I don't know how I'm going to like it, but, but it's really nice because you get the precise line, but then it's really nice. It gives you a nice blended out look. Alright, so the face and eyebrows are done, so now the eyes, and I have a few new products that I want to try out, um, but I'm first going to actually start with my Lorac Pro Palette and a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to be mixing taupe and mauve, and I'm going to be placing it into my crease, because the colors I'm going to be using today, I don't really have a neutral. I'm going to be using like a cranberry and a purple. So I wanted to add a neutral color to t help kind of tone it down. Bring some warmth to it. It's going to go all up in the crease. And I actually wore this eye look yesterday but I didn't have time to actually sit down and film it. So I've kind of already did a test drive with it so to speak. But I liked it enough that I thought I would film it for you guys, so. so it should look like that nice because the colors I'm using are also a tad dark so I like to build the colors up so it's a little darker and then for highlights I'm just going to take my angled brush and cream from the palette and just use that as a brow bone highlight I'm done with the Lorac Pro palette so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this new Rimmel Scandal Eyes. It's eyeshadow paint. Um, this one's in pomegranate. Um, I also got another one, which is called Golden Bronze. So if you want to see this in a tutorial or something, just let me know down below. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial anyway, but... I'll film it faster if you guys want to see it. So, but today I'm going to be using the pomegranate one, which is just a nice deep reddish brown color in a way. And I'm just going, and it has like a flat applicator to it, flat sponge applicator. I'm just gonna place some of it on my lid. And you can use your finger to blend it out, but I'm actually have found that it's a lot easier to blend cream products out lately with my Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. It just really buffs the color out nicely, and then just to soften the edges and get it into my inner corner, I'll use my um, finger. And this shadow has like kind of a cooling effect when you put it on. It makes my eye cold. <laughs> and the one thing about this is it stays wet for a while, but once you start blending it out, it starts to dry like really quick. So I kind of have to work with it quite a pretty quickly. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Alright, now I'm going to be taking the Jordana Eyeshadow Duo in Smoky Purple, which I saw Glam Moms Rochelle show this, and I even commented, I was like, I need this in my life. So, when I was at Kmart the other day, 
I decided to look at Jordana, and this was the very last one, so it was, like, meant for me. But I thought it was really pretty. It has, like, this cranberry color and then a deep purple that has, like, this color shimmer in it. So, super pretty. So what I'm going to do is take a flat eyeshadow brush and pick up the cranberry color. And I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid. Just take a small pencil brush. And I also bought this the other day. It came like in a two pack. It's posh brushes. But it's the closest thing I've found that's like that pencil brush. But I'm just going to place the purple on the outer corner. You know I'm starting to think? <laughs> I didn't even have to buy this. You want to know why? Because in... My Lorac Pro palette, these two colors, Garnet and Deep Purple, look almost the same. Oh well. This one's a cheaper alternative if you're looking for one. Plus I think the berry color is a little bit lighter in this. Um, the purple color does tend to give a little bit of fallout though. I'm just going to take this up into the crease a little bit, and then I'll blend it out in a few seconds. I'll just take a blending brush and blend the purple out. Alright, next is liner. So, I'm going to try out the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. And this one's just in black. And I've never tried e.l.f. liquid liner. And, uh, sorry, I almost dropped it. Um, my favorite liquid eyeliner is the L'Oreal Linear Intense Carbon Black Eyeliner. Um, and that one has a felt tip. This one has a brush. Um, the thing is, every time I use a brush, I notice it gets really, like, streaky looking. And I just don't like to have to go back and redo it. Like, it's annoying. But we'll give it a try, and I'll let you know how I feel about it. Um, because obviously this is going to be, like, a dollar, so. Glides on real nice. I'm like surprisingly shocked right now. But can I do a wing is the question. Which I'm not even good at. That's pretty darn good. I don't have any streakiness or anything. So that's cool. Let's do the other eye. Alright and I've actually never used this before. But it's the e.l.f. makeup remover pen. Which I also got when I got like the foundations and stuff. And... As you can see, this wing has a nice fine point, and this one doesn't, so I'm going to try to clean this one up and see how this thing works. Ooh. That's nice. Because I always tend to have that problem when I do my wings. So, but I actually think, so yeah, overall, I really do like these two. This is probably going to go maybe in my bought it, forgot it pile. So that's actually really nice. Um, it actually doesn't leave streaks. I can do a nice wing with it. And yeah, I do like that. That's really good for a buck. Um, and then the e.l.f. makeup remover pen, that really did clean up my wing nicely. It didn't like, leave a bunch of makeup remover, like, dripping down or anything, so, that was really nice to quickly clean that up, so, yeah, I like those, it's my first impression on those ones, I like those, alright, next is bottom lash line, so I'm going to be taking my Victoria's Secret eyeliner in Exotic Plum, which, 
One end is the pencil and the other end is a smudger. And I'm just going to line my bottom lash line. And then what I'm going to do is go back in with the purple that's in the duo and another little pencil brush and smoke it out along the bottom lash line. Next is mascara, so I'm just going to curl my lashes. And then for eye mascara, I don't even know if Maybelline still carries this or not. I got it a long time ago, and this is another item that's in my Bought It Forgot It um, bag. It's the Maybelline New York Illegal Length Fiber Extensions Mascara. And this is the waterproof version. And... It's in blackest black, and this might have been like one of the first mascaras that even came out with like the fiber extension type thing. Um, and normally I don't get waterproof mascara either, but this is what the wand looks like. Um, and I don't think I've used it since I put it in my body. I forgot it. Reason why I want to use it today to see if I do or don't like it. Because if I don't like it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, but, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the formula looks like super wet still, but the brush kind of hurts. So I don't know if, yeah, it doesn't look like it's drying out, but it feels like it's dried out. You know what I mean? Like, remember how that happened where the mascara obviously isn't dried out yet because it's still wet. But once you apply it, it's like it's already dried out. I don't know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about, but I don't know. I'd say it does give good length, but I don't feel like I see the volume or separation. And I don't know if it's going to like flake down throughout the rest of the day, so... I guess I'll wear it, see what happens, but I'm not too impressed right now. I feel like I curled my lashes, and for some reason, my lashes look like they're going straight out. I don't know. I'm like, I have long lashes, so I always have issues getting mascara on my eyelid, which really annoys me. And then for bottom lashes, I've been really liking the Maybelline Big False, Big False, <laughs> Big Eyes Volume Mascara, so it's supposed to be like the falsies. I really liked the bottom lash one. I wish drugstore and makeup companies would come out with mascara that's just for the bottom lash line. I saw that e.l.f. had one online, but they were totally sold out, so obviously I couldn't try it. But I like how small the little wand is, so... I've been using this like every day to do my bottom lashes. The only bad thing is I'm going to run out of this end and then I'm going to have this whole entire end still to use. So I really need to start using it as a duo like it's meant to be. Um, Alright, so that is the face and eyes all done. So now on to lips. So... One is a new product at the drugstore. It's the new Maybelline Lipsticks, the Buffs Collection. And this one is in Nude Lust. So this is definitely a nude nude. Um, I have the one that has the pink undertone, and then I have the one that's the lightest one in the collection. So I can blend it with like darker colors to lighten or give more of a pastel look. But I wore this yesterday with the look, and I really do like it. I feel like the eyes are so... Like, bold being a color and then being dark and kind of smoky. That I just wanted to go with a neutral lip, so. And I'm really bad with lip liners. I, I probably should apply a lip liner, but. I feel like I'm just lazy when it comes to lip liner. Like, I have quite a few lip liners, but. I never use them, unless I'm using, like, a really dark color. 
but it obviously prolongs the color of the lipstick, but, you know. And then, a new product that I got when I went to Ulta to exchange a palette is, um, I got the NYX Glam Gloss Aqua Luxe. And this one is The Beat Goes On. It's kind of like a... It looks really pink on camera, but it's more of like a light pinky nude with a gold sparkle. I've never tried any of the Aqua Lux lip glosses before. Um, it comes with a flat sponge applicator. And I've swatched it, and it looks really pretty, so I'm interested to see how it goes on. Ooh. I actually really like those two together. So yeah, that is the finished lip. So I will zoom you guys in so you can see the eyes a little bit better. So you can see like the liner, like there's no streaks or anything and I got the nice wing and everything. So I actually really do like that eyeliner. Now the question is, is it going to flake off throughout the day? I don't know. Is the mascara going to flay throughout the day? I don't know. Um, but I'll definitely let you guys know in, like, maybe my next um, resolution update. So, yeah. That is what the eyes look like. And then, this is what the lips look like. It's a nice, nude, glossy lip. And, yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys liked this getting ready with me video. If you guys do like this kind of video, let me know down in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. Um, I have done one or two in the past and they seem to have gotten a lot of views, so I don't know if it's just something you guys like to see or if you just like more of the strict tutorial, me voicing over how to do it, that kind of thing, or if you kind of like these chit chat review type first impression type things. I don't even know what to call it. Um, but yeah, definitely rate and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Bye.